Hey y'all, so today we're talking about WebGPU and the fact that WebGPU now is going to have native support in Unity 6.1. So I did a video uh, not long ago, just a week or two, about how to implement WebGPU into Unity 6.0, uh, which does involve going in and doing a text modification to a file, the player settings file, I believe. And in doing that, it then opens up the availability to enable the graphics API of WebGPU within player settings, within other settings. So what we're gonna do is install the new version of the Unity Hub, which I already see a notification at the top here that I need to do. After we install that new version of the Hub, we're going to install Unity 6.1. Then we're going to grab a sample project then we're going to point to the WebGPU graphics API as our web end target. And we're going to build out, test it out, make sure that we're on WebGPU and call it a day. So what I want to do here is go ahead and click install, go over to pre-releases, Unity 6.1 alpha and click on install. Uh, this is currently in a pre-release, but we can assume that any features within the 6.1 alpha pre-release We'll make it through into the official release. What I do want to do is to go ahead and check on WebGL build support. Uh, WebGL is kind of the, the catch-all term for the web stuff right now, um, but enabling WebGL will enable my web end target that I can click on. So let's go ahead and let this install and we'll check back in in just a moment. So one thing to mention while we're kind of hanging out here, and this is installing, is that there's some really good documentation on WebGPU. And I had a few questions on my previous video about what is WebGPU? Why is it helpful? Why should I be looking into this? So this is the Unity manual for WebGPU. Notice it lists features that it does support, features that it doesn't, what are limitations of WebGPU? Uh, maybe two of the most notable things that I like as a technical artist is that the features of WebGPU are that it now supports compute shaders and it supports VFX graph. Uh, for any of you who are in the technical art or shader de design development, shader graph, um, you know how powerful compute shaders are and what exactly they do and how they leverage a lot of the power that you can only get through that type of technology. So hopefully that'll be as exciting to y'all as it is to me. Here's another resource that's just a developer blog about WebGPU, what's good, what's bad, et cetera. Um, one of the differences here that are mentioned is that you have access to the APIs of Vulkan, Metal, and DirectX 12, which is probably the other biggest advantage that I see is that you've now unlocked the ability to leverage those different APIs, uh, which unlocks a lot more power as well. So take a look at these different pieces of documentation and please let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer. So we'll jump back over into Unity Hub. Go ahead and hit create new project. Change that over to 6000.1 alpha. And then I'm going to find a game that I want to play. Maybe this 2D platformer micro game. Eh, let's do the, the FPS micro game. I've actually never played this before. Um, but this, I'm really just downloading the template because I don't want to have to build a scene and uh, point to certain scenes within my build settings and my build profiles and whatnot. I just want it all set up for me so that I can spend this video focusing on how to enable the web GPU and target and get y'all up and going as fast as possible. So let's go ahead and click on FPS micro game and hit create project. Okay. So we're now in here and we have the FPS micro game. I'm going to go ahead and hit load scene. And then I can go ahead and get rid of this tutorial window, move the inspector over. So it's a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. And maybe let's hit play just so that we know that this is actually going to work and all of this effort will not be for naught. I'm going to run out here. Oh, wow. This is actually really fun. Uh, also some really cool mechanics that it has in here, like uh, the compass up at the top. That's a neat feature that you can essentially get this template and then see how it's been implemented and then implement it into your own projects. 
So some pretty neat stuff. It's relatively simple, a simple skybox it looks like for an environment. So let's go ahead and go to File, Build Profiles. And then we already have Web Enabled because we ticked that on when we installed Unity 6.1. If we had not, or if you have another target platform that you want to install, the nice thing with the build profiles window is that you can now just click on it and hit install with Unity Hub. And that will open up Unity Hub to the right Unity editor version with the right endpoint and target selected. And then you really don't have to do any, anything other than click on install. So it does a lot of that heavy lifting for you, which I think is fantastic. So let's go back to web. And we're going to go ahead and hit switch to platform. Um, so we're going to switch platform over to web and it will move us in that direction, give us any errors or warnings if we're going to have any. And once that is done, we can then go into the player settings and see what we're going to do next. So just for giggles, I'm not going to actually cut right now. I just want to see how long it takes to move from regular Windows target over to a web target and we'll let this loading bar load in. If it takes more than 30 seconds, then, then I'll probably cut and we'll rejoin, but I'm, I'm interested to see. Um, and it's done uh, before I even finished that last sentence. So the only thing that we're waiting on now is that we have a few scripts that are likely compiling down here in the bottom right. So you can see the error at the top of the build profiles window saying cannot build while we have scripts compiling. So it's gonna finish that out. And now we are officially switched over to web as an end target. So we're now here, we're ready to go. The main thing that we want to do now is indicate that we want to be using web GPU. So this is where previously you would go into a text editor and edit a piece of a file so that you could enable this graphics API. Now it's built into 6.1, as I mentioned. So we're just going to go into player settings, scroll down, go into other settings, and then go into graphics API you'll see that we already have WebGL2, so we wanna click on the plus icon and click on WebGPU Experimental. I mentioned this in the previous video, but the order of your graphics APIs indicate the priority level. So we do wanna take WebGPU and drag it up above WebGL2. Uh, that way, if we get to an end target, a piece of hardware, a uh, browser that doesn't support WebGPU, it has WebGL to fall back to. Otherwise, it's not gonna know what to do if you, if you actually discard WebGL. So it's exactly as we want it. We're gonna exit out and click on Build and Run. I'm gonna create a folder, call it Build, and hit Select Folder, and let this build out, and I'll see you once it builds. All right, so that took about five minutes, I would say. We have our window that is running here. We have controls play. It's all running on localhost right now. So this all, is all running in a web browser in a URL. Um, clicking on some basic UI elements, the controls work, hitting play works. I can move my mouse around. It looks like it's going to ask me a uh, access question if I want to move my mouse outside of the web window once I'm full screening or not full screening it. So I'm just gonna hit on allow every time. And this is, again, playing within uh, Chrome, which I think is super cool. So I'm going to run around here, shoot a couple bad guys, do some power-ups, see any enemies. Oh, wow. Okay, that is awesome. So now I'm just going to strafe around the environment, shooting at this bad guy. And I'll stop it there so that you all don't have to watch me play this game, since that's not the point of the video, really. <laughs> um, so... Let's go ahead and leave that where it's at for the moment. I think everything is working. The options menu pulls up when I hit tab. I'm really happy with the functionality here. So if you wanna make sure that this is running on WebGPU, you wanna hit on F12, which will pull up this window over here on the right. It'll usually start in that elements tab. So just click on console next to it. And when you scroll down, you'll be able to see Unity Web GPU version Web GPU 1.0. So again, you go to Elements and then Console, scroll down, Unity Web GPU, Web GPU 1.0. The render is Web GPU, for example, vendor Unity. So that's how you know. If it was running on WebGL, it would not be indicating Web GPU as the renderer and the version that it's trying to use. So now I'm going to hit F12, close out of that, run around. 
And I think we'll call this a success. So just like that, we were able to open up Unity Hub, install a new version of Unity Hub, grab Unity 6.1 Alpha, create a project in Unity 6.1, use a simple micro game or template that's already included, open it up, go into File, Build Profiles, change us over and switch to a web profile. Once that's done, open up Player Settings, in player settings, go into other settings and then graphics APIs. Within graphics APIs, hit that plus symbol, add in WebGPU, drag WebGPU above WebGL so that it is the prioritized renderer and graphics API to be used. And then we are good to go. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. I hope y'all are as excited about this as I am. We're effectively removing all the friction that comes with needing an end user to download an app by allowing them to access this content through a web link. Uh, here it's all demoed through localhost, but you get the point that you could host this wherever you want. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please check out that documentation that I've listed here. You have the Unity manual that will take you through things like limitations and pros and cons of WebGPU. But within the limitations window, here are just a couple of immediate things. For example, if your project build is too large, uh, at a certain point, WebGPU is just not the right platform for you to be targeting with that type of project. So poke around, see what does and doesn't work, where WebGPU is or isn't a good fit. Keep looking at all this documentation. I hope you all learned a lot in this video. Apologies for, for two immediate back-to-back WebGPU videos, but saw that this dropped and had to get the content out there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one.